Well, hello guys. I hope you are doing well, and I also hope that the last videos that I published have helped you a lot. So today we are going to talk about a program which will pass IP addresses from a big file or from log files. So let's talk about it. So let me define the problem statement first. So we have to write a program which is going to pass IP addresses from a file. We'll start with simple solution first, and then we'll have follow up which you can see on the screen. So I already have a file here, uh, which is kind of a log, log for a web service, where we can see a lot of IPs in here, right? In the start of the log files, sorry, log lines. So right now we are going to write a program in Python which will pass this IP addresses and show me just IP addresses, uh, something like, you know, you are fetching IP addresses from a huge file, a huge large log file. So let's start writing the code. So here I'm going to use this popular concept in a uh, concept called regular expression, which will help us to, you know, fetch IP addresses from these log lines. And we do have a library in Python as well called RE for that. And I'm going to open the file. It was called IP log .txt. I'm opening the file and then I'm going to read all the lines. File dot read lines. Now, how does the IP address look like? Like it, it's something like three digits or maybe one digit or two digits, but I'm taking one example like Six eight point one point one something like this, right? So like, there are four four numbers of three digits or maybe one digit or two digits separated by dots. So we have to define a pattern for this. So let's define a pattern for this. In regular expression, we'll say compile. And then define the rule for that. So there will be like three digits number first. We can define, define something like this and then followed by dot and then followed by other three digits number dot digit again three dot and then digit of three digits right so now i'll iterate over each line in the log lines and i'm going to wait i'll show you what i'm going to talk about so if you look, if you look at the logs you can see that these are like each log line right and first the ip address comes and then followed by logs right so i'm going to split on spaces because this is the first element in that if we split the this line with the help of spaces so i'm going to take the zeroth index of each splits so in python you can split on any character if you want so i'm going to split it on space spaces And I'm taking the zero index ways. So if line is not also there might be a case that you're going to take new line as well when you're spreading. So just skip that. If I'm going to store if found in pattern dot search in each line. So if if found, we can say that we have fetched the we have matched the right IP address. IP address and then we can say line. And then we can save this file. Try to run this file. And here we can go. You can see all the IP addresses fetched from this log line. 
right? But is the solution correct? What do you think? So there might be an edge, edge case here. What? Let me show you what. I'm going to make some changes in this log line. Let's say I'm writing nine something and then this and then this and then something something. And then saving it and Python. And it's also getting passed, but this is not a valid IP address, right? We'll be changing the pattern now. So let's change the pattern to consider this case as well. Now the pattern should be what? Basically, we have uh, for each number or each, like there are four numbers in IP address, right? Separated by dots. So for each number, we are considering from one or maybe zero to two, 255, right? So for that, let's do the one digit numbers. So it should be zero to nine. For two digits, it should be one to nine and then zero to nine. For three digit numbers, it should it's, it's, it's start with one. It's going till uh, zero to nine and then also zero to nine, right? But if it's two digit number, if it starts with the three digits start with two, it can go up to zero to four and then zero to nine. So it's completing from two two zero zero to two four nine nine, right? But we are we are also supposed to consider fives as well. So it should be two, sorry, five, and then it should be from zero to five, right? This is what we are going to do now. The new pattern would be I dot compile and copy paste it for you. I already have it, right? I'll show you what does it mean. So we are doing that. For first digit, we are considering zero to nines. It is two digit, one to nine and zero to nine. And then for three digits, we are considering if the if the number is starting with one, then one, zero to nine, two times. And then if the number is starting with two, then we are considering two and then zero to four and then zero to nine. All the values from 200 to 249. And then we are considering 250s to 255 and it, it comes three times because number dot number dot number dot and then another number so now if we can put another else case here if it's not found we can say hey that's that's wrong ip address print down it is as well so here we can see that there are two wrong ip addresses here is 446 and here is 983 so it's, it's a wrong one so we have completed uh, a simple solution where we are finding ip address from from log lines and we have considered an edge case as well so now let's talk about the follow-ups what if the file is greater than 10 GBs or maybe 50 GBs? What we are going to do now? Because we just can't load the uh, file in the RAM, right? And maybe uh, I, I'll ask you to do this task on your laptop and your laptop can have 8 GBs or 16 GBs and the file itself is big than your RAM itself. So you can't load all of the file, all of the file in the, in the, in the RAM, right? So what's the way to do it? So there's a concept called generator. It's a big stuff. Uh, it's, it's a topic for another video, but I'll, I'll give you an overview. So instead of returning file, if you, if you see here, if you, instead of yield, instead of return, we are using yield. So what is yield? It is something it returns a generator. So unfortunately, you're not going to use the file chunks. 
it, it's not going to load in the RAM. So that's how it works. So we have to chunkify the data. So we are using, we are opening the file, big block file as file descriptor. We are sending this file descriptor to chunkify function, which will yield lines. And we get another function called to, you know, doing some process on the data itself. So using this function, we can, we can handle large files. So that's that. But there are a few more questions. How about if I ask you a question, hey, you have to fetch top 10 IP addresses. Hey, you have to, you know, find a malicious IP addresses in, in, hmm. hey, you have to find malicious IP address in big file or stream of logs. So it's a security concern, right? Company need, needs to understand like who is, who is coming, who is talking to their system, right? Who's talking to their, to their services. So they log all this uh, network activities. So let's say I'm asking you to find uh, malicious IP address. So how will you find malicious IP address? Let's say it's very simple. I'm I'm asking you to, hey, you have this number of IP addresses which should be whitelisted. So they are allowed and rest of them are not allowed. So you have to find those malicious IP addresses from a big file or a stream of logs. So how are you going to do it? So let's let's say uh, if I'm asking you to, to find the top 10 IP addresses, how will you do it? The file is like, let's say uh, one TB or maybe 100 GB, 200 GB and you cannot just load all of the file in at once so the best way to do it i guess is to chunkify the data so you take few chunks find the frequency of each ip addresses so you can you can, you can create a map because the number of ip addresses possible ip version for address is finite right so the number of possible ip version ip version for ip addresses is 4.3 billion and we can create a map in another system like let's say it could be in a key, key value pair of database like hbase or, and then you have a bunch of nodes and you chunkify the data and ask each node to count the number or maybe count the frequency of each ip address and you know once you find particular ip address you you know update the key value pair database and then you can find the top 10 ip address from there and what about the malicious IP addresses? So it's the same thing. Like for the top 10 IP addresses, you will have to, you know, go through all of the data. But for malicious IP addresses, we, you can we, you can have an idea, right? Uh, let's say at this time stamp, uh, we had this uh, outage happen, or maybe some attack happened, and we can quickly go to that time stamp and filter this out and just see oh, that chunk of file and fetch the uh, blacklisted IP address from there. So should we consider distributed systems? I think yes, because so like we have huge file and we chunkify it into 100 blocks and ask each node to do the job, give me a resulted value at, at the end. So that's what we did in, if you are going to fetch top 10 IP addresses from a huge file, like of GBs or TVs of file. So thank you guys for watching this video, like this video and subscribe to the channel. All the relevant links you can find in the link tree. Bye, see you in the next video.